What I find for the post-op patient is the median nerve tends to be the most problematic and the most cranky. So they're post-op, they're probably not gonna be able to get into that position, right? They're not gonna be able to go here with it because actively we can't get there. So it really is up to me to manage a lot of that for them and help them to free up that nerve. So when we talk about neurodynamics, that median nerve, because they're stuck in this position, gets shortened, it gets compressed, it gets angry. And that becomes the driver of a lot of our pain and dysfunction. So if I can start to free up that nerve, we restore blood flow, oxygen to that area, again, we'll start to downregulate that painful response. So how I do that with our post-op patient, we've got several different leverage points here or levers we wanna rely on. So first thing I do is I usually have them tip their head away. So I want him to tip his head, not rotate. So he's gonna tip his head there. I want to depress this shoulder if I can. Now, they may not allow that to happen and that's okay. So we want to depress the shoulder if we can. So now we've put this nerve on stretch here. So from here, we're going to take them into a comfortable position. So we need to be very cautious with this because we may not be able to get there. And we need to be very wary of their range of motion. So from here then, it takes some hands and some things to prop. So you may need some help. But even if I can only get them to here, my next lever becomes at the elbow. So then we're looking to see where they feel that tension. So what I describe to my patients is, I want you to feel that zing down your arm. It's not necessarily a stretch, but it's not comfortable either. And so a lot of times they'll feel that zing, especially in this position, they'll feel that zing right here in the bicep. If I haven't gotten there, then I can take it into wrist extension. And that further takes that nerve on stretch and I can floss that. If that's not enough, I can take the fingers into extension. I can also rotate the head away. So those are all various ways I can start to tension the system. And so some people, we don't wanna go into this or we don't wanna go higher. We can get that neural tension by extending here and doing something like that. So look at all the different levers. Eventually the goal is to get them up here and then we work through that neural tension this way. But because they're post-op, we may not be able to get them all the way into that position. So take advantage of all the different pivot points that you have and then just work on and off. So I typically go three or four sets of 10 to 15 reps. We're just working on and off. I'm not trying to put them into a lot of pain. I am trying to floss that nerve and get it freed up. And uh, while they won't love it in the moment, it will give them a lot of relief and uh, pain control. So these neurodynamics become really important. And then we can also follow this up with your pods along that as well, especially if they say, hey, I really feel that zing right here in the bicep or down here in the forearm. I'm just gonna go ahead and put my pod on there while I go through that flossing. It's another way I can impact those neurodynamics because now I'm decompressing that local tissue. Again, the goal is to free up the nerve because it gets locked up because they're stuck all the time. The goal is to free that up. And so whatever way I need to do that, whether that's various positions or pivoting or hinge points, I should say, or I'm using tape or pods or a combination of that. I don't care how you get there, but we need to manage that neurological tension.